Welcome back to SimCore Project Episode 12, a series where I'm showcasing the SimRacing setups of my viewers and hoping to give you all inspiration regarding all this hobby has to offer. This episode is sponsored by Six Sigma Sim Racing, the number one Moza and SimMagic dealer in North America, as well as a great value cockpit manufacturer. Learn more about them in the video description. Before we get started, please note that throughout the month of January, I'm giving away an SHH H pattern shifter. Leave a like on the video and press the link at the top of the video description to enter. Starting off strong and coming to us from Quebec, Canada, we have Guillaume. He's a 35 year old who works as a manager in the mining industry and has spent an approximate 11,000 Canadian dollars on his setup so far. Throughout the three months he's been putting it together, he has racked up some serious bit of gear, but most importantly, has made sure to keep it all in pristine condition. His cable management is so good, it literally looks like all of his peripherals are wireless. Talking about his peripherals and starting with his wheelbase, Guillaume is rocking the 8nm Fanatec CSL DD paired with a Turn Racing R300 and Fanatec BMW GT2 V2 rim. On his left hand side is a cup holder, which I actually desperately need for my own setup, and on his right, the Fanatec handbrake and club support shifter. Down below, he steers away from Fanatec as Guillaume uses the Husingvelt Sprint pedals. All of this gear is being held up by the Advanced Sim Racing ASR4 chassis, which also holds a very good looking Energy Prism bucket seat with a very flamboyant design on the back. As per his turbo monitors, he's got three Acer 27 inch displays, each capable of putting out 144Hz refresh rate. Holding them all is a GT Omega Prime freestanding triple monitor stand. Smaller things worth mentioning around his rig include a Butt Kicker Gamer 2 underneath the seat, a MetaQuest 2 VR headset for ultimate immersion, and a set of Logitech G560 speakers attached onto his monitor stand. He also went ahead and shared other photos around his room showcasing his display box, shelves, and his productivity desk. And oh my god, if my eyes are not mistaking me, despite him submitting his entire setup to this show, it appears that Guillaume is not subscribed. Anyway, powering all of his setup is an RTX 3080, an Intel Core i7 12700K, and 32GB of DDR5 RAM, all housed in a Cooler Master NR200 case. A very clean, minimal, and impressive setup. Thank you, Guillaume, for submitting, but don't forget to subscribe. And next up from the United States, we have Ryan with a VR SimRacing setup which has taken him around one year to set up. Despite its underwhelming appearance, Ryan has some capable equipment and certainly makes most of the space available. Since his setup does seem to be tucked in a corner of his room, he opted to go with the V4 wheel stand paired with a GTR Racing gaming chair instead of a full cockpit. On his wheel stand, Ryan's got a powerful Thrustmaster TSPC, which he uses along with his Thrustmaster Ferrari 458 Challenge and open wheel add-on rims. However, down below, he instead opted to go the Fanatec route with a set of the Fanatec CSL pedals with the clutch add-on kit attached. As per a shifter, that would be one of those no brand USB shifters they sell on Amazon which I've made a review on in the past. The main star of his show would of course be his Oculus Rift which he uses to play Project Cars, Dirt Rally 2, and Assetto Corsa. Powering these games is a custom built PC housing a Radeon RX 570, a Ryzen 3 3100, and 8GB of RAM all housed in a Corsair 5000D case. I also love the Legos scattered across the setup for an added flair of personality. Very cool stuff and thank you Ryan for submitting. And next up, as the title of this video suggests, we have Michael with one of the coolest sim racing setups and practically man cave I've ever seen. Before going over his sim racing setup, let's take a look at his motorsport themed room, which showcases his model car collection, his ultra modern and minimalist office setup, and special placement on attention to detail. I already know Michael spends most of his day locked up in here, and I don't think any of us can blame him either. 
Anyway, with regards to his equally cool Sir Missing setup, he's rocking a Track Racer TR8 paired with their GT Bucket Seat, which holds up a plethora of Sim Racing gear. As for his wheelbase, he decided to go with the Fanatec DD1, which he uses along with the Turn R320, a Formula V2.5X, and Fanatec Forza Motorsport wheel rims. On top of that sits a small digital dash display, and around his wheelbase, he's got stream decks, a button box, Logitech 5.1 speakers, and a Fanatec shifter and handbrake on his right hand side. I genuinely have no idea how he managed to hook up all of this gear to a TR8, which is not an aluminum profile rig. Anyway, down below, he shifted away from Fanatec as he opted to go with the Husenfeld Sprint pedals. Arguably the most impressive part of the setup is that up above, he has a custom made ceiling, which I have no idea how he made or where he bought it, but it certainly looks like a job well done. It rests on three MSI Optic 32 inch curved gaming monitors, which are held up by the Track Racer triple monitor freestanding mount. To add just a tiny bit more to the immersion, he also seems to have an ambient lighting kit shining down on him from the back. Of course, powering all of this is a custom built PC with an RTX 3090, an Intel i9-12900K, and 32GB of DDR5 RAM, all housed in a Lian Li 011 XL dynamic case. Overall, I love the small attention to details placed not only around your sim racing setup, but the entire room as a whole. Thank you Michael for sharing. And coming up next was another great example of a VR setup done right, we have Toby. He's a 24 year old biology and economics student from Germany and has been slowly upgrading his setup since August 2020. Throughout the years, his setup has accumulated a cost of around $2,000 without the PC, and he has certainly racked up a good amount of gear along with it. Starting with his wheelbase, Toby is rocking the popular Fanatec CSO DD with the McLaren GT3 V2 room attached, and to the side of that, a small fan to keep cool and add to the immersion. On his right hand side sits a generic USB handbrake paired with the Thrustmaster TH8 shifter and we even got a feet pick to go along with it. Bruh. Down below are the Thrustmaster TLCM load cell pedals and all of this gear is being held up with a GT Omega RS6 chassis. The star of the show in Toby's setup will of course be his HP Reverb G2 which provides him with ultimate immersion, just take a look. Exit is clear. Okay, Tobias. For general gaming, he also has a small dual monitor setup with his gaming keyboard and mouse, and another free feed pick. Anyway, powering all of this is an NVIDIA RTX 3070, an AMD Ryzen 5600X, and 32GB of Corsair Vengeance RGB Pro RAM. Overall, a practical and cozy setup. Thank you, Toby, for entering. And rounding off the episode strong we have Ralph, a 32 year old from Los Angeles who has actually upgraded to a triple monitor setup since his original submission. In this minimalist yet clean setup, Ralph is using a Vivo Racing Simulator cockpit which he hopes to upgrade for more comfort in the near future. Currently he's rocking exclusively Fanatec gear as he has the Lone Cell CSL pedals down below, the 8nm Fanatec GTDD Pro up top combined with a CSL BMW wheel, and the Fanatec Clubsport shifter to the right. Ralph, you better be using my affiliate links for all of those purchases. <laughs> On top of his wheelbase, you would have noticed that he has a small display, that would be an old Samsung A6 tablet which he hooked up there for telemetry data using SimHub. Cleverly, he also has his keyboard and headset hooked up to the wall for easy access. As per his display, he was originally using a 32 inch Sony TV, but later upgraded to a triple monitor setup which I must admit looks very cool with the rest of his gear and definitely transformed the look of his rig. Other notable things around his setup include his wall-mounted PlayStation, an arcade setup against his other wall, a model car collection, and his own daily driver which he wanted me to show off, which is of course a GR Supra. 
Very cool, Ralph. Enjoy your setup and your awesome car, and thank you for submitting. And just like that, this rounds up SimTour Project Episode 12. Remember to leave a like on the video and enter this month's giveaway of an SHH H pattern shifter. And as always, thank you all for watching. Stay safe and have a fantastic rest of your day.